Hi, my name is Justin A.K. Ghost Reader, and today I am going to be doing my mate TBR. So, um, last month I didn't get to read a lot because um, I was busy. Uh, this month is also going to be busy, so I had planned to not read a lot, but this stack of book he books here uh, shows that my subconscious uh, thinks differently and that I'm going to at least attempt to do a lot of reading. I have some family um, coming up. Um, coming up uh, in this month, uh, actually this weekend, and I'll be spending a lot of time with them uh, for the next two weeks, so uh, I'm not sure how much reading I'm going to get in, uh, but uh, I'm going to try to get as much in as I can. Um, last month, I wasn't even really able to watch any of the booktube either, so hopefully um, over this month, I'll be able to get back into it and watch some of you guys' videos and, com and enjoy um, uh, replying to your comments in the comment section, so... Uh, thank you all for watching and let's jump right into it uh this month i thought that i would uh read some more poetry and basically i was going to just read all poetry this month and unfortunately that um is is not what <laughs> what's going to happen well maybe not unfortunately but that's not going to happen so basically my traditional tbr is one nonfiction, one fiction um one graphic novel and one poetry book and then whatever miscellaneous, book, miscellaneous books I'm going to read. Uh, and now my plan was just to read all poetry this month, but, and that would completely throw my traditional TBR like out the window. Um, however, it seems that unconsciously I still have stuck to my traditional TBR and I have like one of each of those categories on my TBR for this month. So basically, my plan for this month is to read some new poetry, some poetry I've never read before, uh, and to basically finish books uh, that I said I would read but haven't finished reading, or haven't, or said I read and haven't read. So that's what I'm going to be doing this month. So May is going to be kind of like my catch-up um, month, it looks like, at least on paper anyway. So um, that's what I'm going to do. So let's talk about what books um, I'm going to talk about. Well, Let's basically, let me show you what books I'm going to um, read this month. So the first book is Late in the Empire of Men by Christopher Kent. I believe that's how you say that. And um, this book uh, is a book of poetry. I just went to the Barnes and Noble section. I picked up two books. Uh, that was this one and uh, another one that I'm going to show you uh after this one um, I actually had a vlog was, or I planned to do a vlog surrounding me getting these books but I decided not to um, so basically uh, I picked this up because um, the title caught me Late in the Empire Man, and I quickly glanced at the back of it and was like hmm that sounds interesting so this uh, book was uh, the winner of the four way books Levy's Prize in Poetry and the back says um, has a, actually has like a basically a glowing recommendation by i believe one of the judges of the contest and uh, says uh in the late in the empire of men christopher kemp uh, manages the astonishing um feat of filtering a journey to adulthood through the trajectory of american history which he simultaneously places in a larger context of empire that takes us back to troy and rome and forward to a time when the idea of people is over the childhood play that opens the book evokes both history and history in the making one computer game makes the child complicit in westward expansion. Another names both game and the first Iraq war. In both the human and gender senses, the empire of, of the title is of men. And a quote, uh, and a quote here is, Before I was a man, I was a man. Made of pixels. End quote. Uh, Kemp writes, As he moves from Midwest childhood to Western um, early adulthood he references explorers colonizers native americans the dust bowl uh and the donner party mapping sexual awareness and experience along with the conquests along with conquest and the violence uh kemp is a master of seamless just position almost every poem moves smoothly into and out of his immediate circumstances weaving myth and history literary reference and new events into his fabric the stitching together of lines is, mas is equally masterful the syntax of extended and surprisingly ordered sentences, the sense of line as container as well as unit to be broken, the interplay and the tension between syntax and line and the sounds, particularly assonance that define line and movement, are often breathtaking. The territory of the late in, of late in the Empire of Men can be as uncompromising as its title, but it also contains moments of celebration, many of them linguistic. 
In a poem that takes us back to the dinosaurs and into the future, line breaks makes the apocalyptic vision gorgeously resonant as Kemp imagines the trees that uh, might outlive us. The language lists indescribable night. And that is what the base of the back of this book says. And so I kind of like glanced at the back and at the title. I was like, oh, this sounds pretty interesting. Interesting. So uh, this will be one book that I'm reading this month on. And hopefully um, I enjoy it. So the second book that I picked up is basically because um, I heard of this author before, but never read any of his works. And I wanted to change that. And that is uh, The Wasteland um, and other poems by T.S. Eliot. Uh, so I have no idea uh, what these poems are about, but I know T.S. Eliot is um, a pretty, or said to be a pretty good author. So I will be consuming these. Um, this is a Barnes & Noble's classic, so um, I believe it has like a nice introduction, a timeline, and you know, the introduction is to help you kind of get a sense of what the author um, was trying to say and, and notes about it. But I haven't really read T.S. Eliot before, so this will be my first time trying to fully complete one of his works. So. The Wasteland and Other Poems by T.S. Eliot. And the third book of poetry is actually one from last month, and that is The Canterbury Tales uh, by Geoffrey Chaucer. I did not finish this. I didn't even open it last month because I just didn't have the time. So this month, um, I will um, definitely be diving into this book and attempting to, to finish this. And also, uh, this month uh, was the uh, Avengers. Infinity War came out, and the main villain of... Uh, Infinity Wars is Thanos, and so I had a had a graphic novel on my shelf that I've been reading, mean, meaning to read, and that is uh, Thanos, the God Quarry. Uh, this has nothing to do with Infinity Wars, but um, this is actually um, the second volume of his current run, uh, written by Jeff Lemire, uh, and, uh, who also wrote the comic book, art, well, drew the art for the comic book I read last month. Uh, the graphic novel I read last month, After Death. So, uh, in the first part of this, the first volume, Thanos um, basically finds out that he is dying, uh, which he thinks is impossible. And uh, basically, the embodiment of death has teamed up with um, his son to basically take him down. And his son has become has come into the possession of a, a phoenix, a egg of the phoenix, uh, the phoenix force, like the thing that possesses Jean Grey. So... Um, I really, I really like the first volume because Thanos is kind of scared now that he is uh, is dying and doesn't really know why. So uh, I really look forward to reading the second volume, um, which I am going to try to consume before I go see Infinity Wars. Hopefully this weekend, but I, I'm not sure because I have a, a lot of things planned with, uh, with my family. So uh, we may go see Infinity Wars, but we may not. But hopefully this week we, we get a chance to. So this will be the graphic novel I'll be reading this month. All right, so my next book is one that I uh, want to finish. I started reading next last month. Um, I started le- reading last month and talked about it. Then that's going to be uh, "Can You Forgive Her" by Anthony Trollope. I am on chapter fifty-three, so this has eighty chapters in it. So I'm almost done. Uh, I think I can finish that by the end of the month. So hopefully I do. Um, and like I said, I'll do a whole video on this like when when I'm done. The next book. Uh, that I'm going to start reading, which I should have already started, is The 30 Years' War by uh, by Peter H. Wilson. Uh, and, um, yeah, like I said, I need to, this is my quarterly read, and it seems that with my quarterly reads that I only read them in the last month of the quarter, which we're going to try to change that and actually start this month with this book. So, yeah, The 30 Years' War, it is like 800 pages long, so I need to get a cracking. Um, because, or else I'll be like rat racing to the finish with this, and I want to do it. So I don't want to do that. So, Thirty Years War I'll also be starting to read this month. And so uh, the last book that I am going to uh, basically is like one of the books that I'm going to finish reading this month, and and because I said I was going to read it but didn't get to finish, uh, was The Fortunes of Africa. Like like I said before, I think in March I'm almost done, and this will also this book also be getting. Uh, a video of his own because I'm going to do that for all my quarter- quarterly reads so Fortunes of Africa it was a good read um, basically I learned a lot about the trade uh, into and out of Africa and the history behind it so um, this and uh, basically the, the colonization of Africa too uh, this is a really good survey basically kind of like the history of Africa and the economics behind it so um, I'm going to go ahead and finish it this for sure this month if nothing else I will definitely will finish this this month 
And last but not least, I will be continuing to listen to the fantasy novel The Way of Kings by uh, Brandon uh, Sanderson. Really great. I'm really loving it. Um, I'm listening to it. I have about 29 hours remaining. It's 45 hours total. I'm listening to it like five days a week in the morning, like um, on the way to work. It's about 30 minute ride, so I listen to it. Really great writing, really great world building, and I'm just enjoying every every minute of it. And it keeps me coming back to it, um, even though it's in the 30 minute segments. Like whenever I stop, it's like I can't wait till you know the next day to to start it up again. So um, really, really enjoying it. And if you guys haven't read The Way of Kings or listened to audio before, I would highly recommend if you're into fantasy. Um, to try it out it may not be your for your your cup of tea but um it may be and it's a really um well written um, series and book so I, I highly recommend it so far i'm i'm loving it and that's it for me that's just my tbr for the month of may if you like this video please hit the like button if you want to see more videos from me please subscribe come follow me on twitter at ghost 28 you can find that down below uh in the uh, the handle my twitter handle down below in the description box and as always keep reading